Hello, my name is Nick Gross, and I'm going to teach you guys how to play No Rain by Blind Melon. Um, this is just how I play it. I don't, I'm not going to like look at tablature or anything. This is how I learned it, but I think it's a pretty accurate um, rendition. So we're going to start out 10th fret here, 10th fret on the B string, and we're going to So you're three plucks of the B string. I know in the song it kind of sounds more like, but it's, the second pluck is really light. So I slide, but you can, you can hammer it. It doesn't sound much different. So it's 10 to 12 and then nine on the G string here. So that's um, the tenth. So now you're gonna take the tenth hammer or pull off, and then hammer it's between the ten and the nine. So and then eleven on the G, ten, um, nine on the G, seven on the G. And then this time, you do your hammer, pull off hammer, or uh, you, you just do your pluck it, pull off hammer, and then you pick it again. And then you bring your up, bring it up to the E string, same fret. Hammer, and then pull off from the nine. So hammer to the 10, pull off. And then 10 on the B, 9 on the G. So, now the melody is going to come in. The chords in mel chords, well, the melody is already in, but the chords are going to come in. But we're going to focus on the melody first, real quick. So, So you're going to do a 9 on the G string, and then hammer pull off on the B string between 9 and 10. So 9, 10, 9, and then you're going to do 12th fret D string, 12th Oh yeah, yeah. That's not till later that we do the 12th fret A string. So 12th fret D string, 11th fret D string, and then let it ring out, and then down to the 9th fret on the D string, and let that ring out. So that melody is going on, but I normally don't even play that melody when I do it. I just go uh, from E chord, D chord, um, and then A chord, E. So let me just break it down for you. 
E chord. D chord. Third fret on the high E, so. You know, right there. And A chord. And what you're gonna do is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It's double time, but it's easier for me to explain in double time. Uh, you're really switching on the fourth beat. And the rhythm uh, isn't that hard, but it gets it takes a little getting used to, so. So it's down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, down, up. That's kind of tricky there. I'm down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. Something like that. It's just kind of tricky because when I play rhythm, right, or when anyone plays rhythm, really, they're doing one, two, three, and four, and, and two, you know, so. At first, so you're going down, Um, I know I'm making a bit of mistakes here, but it's only because I'm staring at the camera and trying to think of what's gonna happen next. I can like I can play, you know, I can play it all the way through well. <laughs> but I just you know I have to be vibing with it, you know, not so distracted as I am making the video. So we have this part. Those are the only two rhythm parts. This second part is just so down, 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 up, down, and then down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down. So um, it's the first half of our previous. But when you go to that, from the second chord there is a D, um, and when you're strumming it, on every, like, when you would upstroke it, instead of upstroking, you're gonna, you're gonna lift your fingers up so that it doesn't ring out, so. That's how it, that's how um, it leads from that section to our first section there, and then he's gonna come in with uh, is not is not sin is
part's a little tricky for me on the acoustic. Um, I'm used to having, I have very soft strings on my Joe Pass Emperor 2, um, but So, now I'm just going to show you guys the solo. Um, remember that part. Now you're going to go 10th um, fret B string to 9th fret to 9th. So 10th fret to 9th fret on the B string. And then you're gonna pick up, so down, up, and then up to the G string there on the ninth fret. So, and then 12, 9, 9, 10, 9, 9, 12, 9, 9. And um, the fourth time you do it, you're gonna pluck back up from the G to the B on the ninth fret there. And then you're gonna take your high E 12th fret and you're gonna be jumping to back to that G so you're skipping over the B string here. Um, the sa same 12, 9, 9, but you're skipping over the B string to the G string for that second 9. So, 12, 10, 10, 10, but this time you're doing the B string instead of the G string for that 9th fret. So, now this is a kind of tricky part. You're gonna take your middle finger and your pinky finger and your pointer finger and they're all gonna be barring when you fret this, um, both frets on the B and the E. So you're gonna go, holding down the nine there and then you're gonna middle finger pinky, 10, 12, 10, 12. You're gonna do that, uh, eight times, um, or, yeah, and then after that 12 there, you're going to go up to the 14th fret, so 14, 12, 10, 12, 14, 12, 10, 12. And um, it's before I looked up the solo, how it was written, and there's just like a little, there's a little, uh, they do an octave slide there from the nine to the eight. But how I like to do it is instead I go, So just pull off that. So when you're, I, I kind of forgot to explain this. When you're doing this riff, you're going. So you're plucking it, pull, pulling off with both fingers, and then strumming up. So up, down, you're down, up, down, up, down. So on the last one, you're going. I just do, I don't even strum it there. And because um, for the last one, you do your pull off. And then when you would strum up, 
instead of strumming up, instead of strumming up, you're gonna pluck the ninth fret B string twice. So, nine, seven, so you're gonna slide from each fret, and I'm, it's all on the B string, so I'll just say the fret name. Uh, so nine, seven, five, three, two, three, five, seven. Now you can either do it, just slide with your ring finger, or if you prefer to do the pinky finger, you're gonna hammer instead of slide. If you're using your pointer finger, hammer into your ring finger. But if you're if you're sliding with the ring, you can just you. Okay, so that riff is just. So when you when you hit. You pluck it into the 10, and then you have 9 on the high E. Throw in that 10 on the high E to 9 on the high E to 10 on the... Um, so it's 10 high E, 9 high E. 10 on the B, and then 12, not 12 on the high E, 9 on the high E, 10 on the B. So. On that last one, you're gonna Pluck the 9 on the high E after the, so 12, 9, high E, 10, B, high E. Now you're going to come down to the 9 here, and you're going to do two fingers, a uh, 9 on the B and G, and you're going to bend both of them. 7th fret on those same two strings, and then nine on the D. Okay, so. So when you do this, you're keeping, um, you're on, you have both of them on the seven. I, okay. So you have both of them on the seven here and you're throwing that. And then you hit that, um, you hit that ninth on the D. And then back to the sevens on the G and B and you're gonna do that.
sorry, I'm a little, um, I've been filming this video for a while and I'm starting to, like, not be able to stay awake a little. Okay. So when you do the... When you do the three strums, you're gonna do the three strums on the sevens, and then hammer, and then back to the hammer to the nines, and then back to the sevens. Now here's a little um, kind of a country riff. Um, well, I would call it that. Um, you're gonna be on the D string, or on the G string, on the 9th fret, and you're gonna bend. Just a half bend. So, 9, and then 7 on the B, 7 on the E, and then 10 on the B. Pull off to the 7 on the B, 9 on the G, it's kind of a long little riff here so I'm just going to take you through it slow. So. I kind of forgot where I was. So you do your bend on the 9 there. 7, B, 7, E, set 10, B, pull off to 7, B, um, and then 9 on the G, and then 7, B, 7, B, 9, G, 7, G, and then you just do, um, I, this is kind of hard for me to, um, remember where I am when I'm doing it. You know, there's a lot of notes in there and it's pretty fast. So what you're going to do, you know, if a minor pentatonic scale, it's based around the minor pentatonic, so you're going to bend, pull off, so that's, and then you're going to go to the second note in that sequence, down to, you're just going to work it all the way down to A on the ninth fret, and then you're going to go up to the D string, Hammer on from the seven to the nine, and then seven on the G string, and then pull off, pull off to the nine on the D, and then you're gonna hit a nine on the G. Uh, I'm sorry I couldn't get more in depth with that explanation, with that portion of the solo. It's just, it's pretty fast, um, and it's hard for me to remember, like, the pattern, the pattern is... It's just um, three notes, and then, um, so you start, if you start on this note, then this would be the second note in that three note sequence. So you're going back to the second. It's, a, it's pretty easy to kind of get the hang of just,
Um, what I do at the end of it is just, um, I keep my pointer finger here, so then when I pull off, I still have it down, and then I, and I can do a little hammer there, although it's written just, um, pull off, nine, nine, there, um, okay. So that's pretty much the whole song. Later in the song, in the background, you'll hear, um, you'll hear, another riff like that again and there's another slide part in there but I I um, have been transcribing it by ear and I haven't uh, gotten around to that part because when I play the song I'm playing the chords I don't have a second guitarist to play that part so I just you know I do Says that my life is pretty strange. You know, playing what, however it goes. I just sing along, and then the solo comes in, and I kind of, you know, bring up, kick it up a notch during the solo. You get it. Um, this roof right here. You can just kind of rock. You can just It's not how it's written, but just You can just kind of rock between those As long as you keep it in time and throw that little nice speedy riff in there, no one's going to be able to tell the difference. And sometimes I'll do little variations on it that I think sound a bit better than um, just. You know. This guitar is tearing my fingers up here. I've had the same strings on it forever. I think they're gonna break soon. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching as always. Uh, please like and subscribe. My name's Nick Gross. I enjoyed uh, showing you guys this song here. Um, for the changes, just listen to the song. Um, you know, it's kind of one of those where you can just Just strum along to it and you'll get it down, you know what I mean? There's a few intricate little details that I didn't mention here because I'm just showing you guys how I play it, not how it's written precisely. Normally I would go very in depth. Like if I was gonna show you reeling in the years, I would be. You know, I would show you every You know, I would show you every little portion of the song, but since I'm not um since this isn't that type of tutorial it's just, uh, I'm going to cut.